Hi class, today we're going to be talking about form versus content. In design one, we will discuss and create artworks based on formal analysis, sometimes just called form. In many of our discussions, we'll put the idea of content or what the artwork means aside completely. In fact, some of our projects will have no recognizable imagery at all. Learning the bare bones of how to create an effective composition with the elements and principles of design will enable you to make powerful artworks in the future that effectively communicate your ideas. What is formal analysis? Formal analysis is evaluating an artwork based on the elements and principles of design. The elements and principles of design include things like line, shape, balance, and color among a few others. Formal analysis does not analyze the meaning the artwork is trying to convey. Our job in this course is to explore the elements and principles of design. Elements of design are much like the structure of a sentence. We need nouns, verbs, and prepositions to communicate our ideas verbally. Elements of design are the basic structure of visual artworks, much like nouns and verbs are the basic structure of a sentence. Elements of design include color, form, line, mass, shape, space, texture, time and motion, value, and volume. Principles of design refine our artwork and make it visually interesting. If we continue with our grammar analogy, the principles of design are like the adjectives and adverbs that we use to make our language and speech more descriptive or even poetic. The principles of design include balance, contrast, emphasis, focal point, pattern, proportion, rhythm, scale, unity, and variety. Now you might ask, what is content? Content refers to the intellectual ideas presented in an artwork. It describes the message the artist is trying to communicate with the artist. Let's practice our analysis skills unit using formal analysis and content analysis by evaluating Edward Monk's The Scream, created in 1893. When we're looking at this piece formally, we can see the artist used complementary colors of orange and blue in the sky and more neutralized colors in the bridge going across the bottom of the image. Wavy lines at the top of the image contrast diagonal lines at the bottom of the image. And the artist used organic shapes in the figures and in the sea. If we're going to look at this based on content, I think we can agree that this painting has an unsettled feeling. We see a man screaming alone on a bridge and it might remind us of horror or isolation. Now it's your turn to give it a try. I'd like for you to look at this painting by Artemisia Genileski, painted in the 1600s. Use formal analysis to evaluate this artwork Try to identify some of the elements and principles of design. Do you see line, shape, color, and space? What is the content of this artwork? What is the artist telling us? Think about it in context of the time period and the fact that Judith was a biblical figure. In this class, our goal is to learn about the formal visual qualities of art or formalism. We will learn how to apply the elements and principles of design to a two-dimensional composition. Some assignments will allow you to also think about content or the ideas you want to communicate in your artwork. But one thing is for sure, this class will make you a smarter artist and a better visual communicator.